The number of drunk driving arrests involving women is climbing. Female DUI cases in the U.S. have doubled in the last 30 years. Sheila Gray examines what's behind the trend. Sheila. Deborah, the biggest part of that spike came just in the last decade. Now, men still outnumber women in getting arrested for drunk driving, but this trend is a big concern for people who dedicate their lives to helping alcohol abusers get back on track. And her daughter's going to be coming out pretty soon, and we don't want her driving her daughter home. Concerned parents call 911 when a mother shows up drunk at school to pick up her daughter. She thinks she ordered some food and tried to pay with a VIP pass to the harem strip club. Another mother arrested at a fast food drive through with her two kids in the car. This recent report from the Traffic Injury Research Foundation shows they're part of a dramatic increase in the number of women arrested for drunk driving. Just in the last decade, up nearly 30 percent. I just think that there's, you know, a lot of stress and a lot of pressure. You know, it's just a lot of pressure to take care of the family. I, ha I was working at the time, full time working and had had two small children. Nancy and Karen Dean are mother and daughter, both recovering alcoholics. Thank God I didn't kill anybody or hurt myself really bad. Karen's wake up call, a rollover accident, which she didn't remember when she woke up. Nancy's came when she lost her job. All of the women arrested for drunk driving and interviewed by the Traffic Injury Research Foundation had something in common, a stressful event, like a breakup, a death in the family, or becoming empty nesters. I live right here. People don't think it's gonna happen to them. Probation officer Sue Davis also teaches in driver intervention classes. I've had, uh, you know, parents that have been embarrassed because they have teenage children and, and they don't want them to know. She, too, is a recovering alcoholic. I see the havoc that it causes, and it, it ripples through the whole family. More than half of the women in the study were single, separated, or divorced. Women are usually don't like to ask for help. You know, we like to do it ourselves. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. I can do this alone, and I can't. Nancy and Karen got help. They credit their recovery to a 12-step program, which they take to women behind bars. I see the women in the prisons and in the um, jails and stuff, and, and it just makes me grateful that, um, that I'm here today, that I can go and say, you know, I, I know how you feel. I know what you're going through. I think it's because of the support that you find in the 12-step meetings um, that you, don't, you realize you're not so unique that there's other people that share their experience and strength and hope. Davis says recovery rates are much higher when treatment is paired with a 12-step program. The Traffic Injury Research Foundation reported women are happier in female-only programs, including Alcoholics Anonymous, and the women in those groups were more likely to predict lasting outcomes. And be around other people that have the same problem, mm -hmm. I think that's, that for me, that was the solution. A solution which brought this mother and daughter much closer together. We're like sisters now, kind of. It's been wonderful. Now there are signs that you or a person you love has a problem with alcohol. If it's causing financial issues like trouble paying bills, if it's affecting work or your family, and certainly if you find yourself in the law enforcement arena, it's time to get some help.